Okay. So who else has ever gone to a photo studio? Hey. Okay. What are you going to do there? You can't hear you. A picture? Ah. Uh. Uh-huh. That man is saying he's going to take a picture. And you took the picture. Huh? Where did you, where did you take it to? You took the picture to? Huh? Passport. You took it there. You took a, I took a, a picture then? You took a picture then? This man is not speaking what you can hear. Who else? Uh huh. You went for a photo shoot. Photo shoot. Photo shoot. Why? It was your birthday. How many photos? Hmm. Did you pay? How much? Like one thousand. Uh huh. Where was it? Nairobi. Okay. Somebody else? Ah, uh, where? Huh? Nyali. Uh huh. What happened? You went to take photos. Now my question is: Lema told us he went to take a picture, isn't it? Kelly and Johan they are saying they went to take a photo. Uh -huh. Which is which? <laughs> Lema is saying he went to take a picture. And uh, Kelly and Yohan, they're saying they want to take a photo. So which is which? Photo. Is it a photo or a picture? Photo. And that is what we're going to discuss today. The topic is photography. Did you do that in grade four? Yes. What did you learn in grade four? Photography. What did you learn in grade four about photography? Mm. Who can, who can tell us? In grade four, what did you learn about photography? Anyone? Do you have anyone who can tell us? What is photography? Hmm. What is photography? When we say photography, what is it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there? Is there? Using a camera. Ah. So we say photography. Photography. Is the art of making, not making, taking, or recording photos using a camera. So here a camera must be there. A picture, a picture, what do you do to a picture? What do you do to a picture? So you gonna help me, Salimaan. A picture, what do you do it? I want to come up with a picture, what do I do? You? I want to have a picture, what do I do? Huh? Uh, there are people I will visit right now. There are people I'm just about to visit right now. You will tell me what class you're having there. Uh huh. What do I do to have a picture? Hey. What do you do to have a picture? Hmm. You can paint. What else? Hmm. You draw. Pictures we paint or we. No, 
But here we are talking about what? A photo. You cannot draw a photo or paint. So what do you need? You need an instrument called a camera. And how many have ever seen a camera? Are you sure? Yes. Your grandfather doesn't have a music? Yes. Does he have a camera? Huh? Yes. Mulika has a camera? Yes. Sam. Sam. How many have ever operated a camera? What are you doing? Major? Yes. What are you doing? What are you doing? So you will still hear somebody telling you, I took my father's camera and I took a picture. Isn't it? I was using my father's camera to take a picture. Is it true? Yes. Is it true? No. Go on. So what are you supposed to say? I took a camera and took a photo. And when you record a photo, then what does it become? If you record a photo, what does it become? Uh, a video, isn't it? Because video are photos that are in movement, isn't it? A photo in a movement is a video. But that one that is still, that one is just a photo. So photography, everybody? Photography is the art of taking or recording photos using a camera. Again? Photography is the art of taking or recording photos using a camera. And we use these photos now to tell us stories. Correct? Yes. How many went to the show? How many carried their cameras? Only two, one. Yeah, I know only of good dress. Did you take photos? Or took pictures? Mm. So now next year, she will remember the photos because she was there, isn't it? And she was able to record the photos and the videos. And therefore, she will remember what happened at the showground, isn't it? So photos can help us to keep a history, to remember, isn't it? And even to learn, correct? Are you together? Yeah. Are you together? Yeah. So photography is very, very important. Uh -huh. When do we take photos? When do we take photos? Eh? Like? During uh, events. Which events? Huh? 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 Birthday? Yeah. Weddings? Yeah. Huh? Graduation? Huh? Burials? Huh? Fashion shows. Uh huh. Huh? Baraka days. Baraka days. Uh huh? When you go, when you go on vacation. When you go on vacation, isn't it? You can just go there for a picnic and then take photos and keep them for your remembrance. That uh, one time, a long time ago, I was in uh, Machakos, isn't it? How many went to Machakos? Did you take your cameras with you? And you took some photos. So when you are 96 years old, you remind your children eh, to tell them this is me when I was in grade five. So they keep history. Huh? You don't believe that you're going to be 96 years? Huh? Huh? So what do we use to take photos? What can we use to take photos? I don't want a camera. Camera is already out. We're done with it. <laughs> what can you use to take photos? Larry? A smartphone, correct? We can use very many, very many gadgets. Gadgets to take Photos. You can use very many gadgets to take photos. Namely, the obvious one is a camera. Uh huh. Somebody say a smartphone. What else? There are so many. There are so many. You might be a tablet. As long as it has a, a, a camera. Uh huh. Hey. 
an iPad. Uh -huh. What else? Hmm. End of thinking capacity. Hey. Yeah. Laptop. Huh? Sam. Uh -huh. What else? Can a CCTV take a photo? What else? We have what we call a sham coder. A cam coder. These are the small cameras, the handheld ones that can also record as well as take a photo. Those ones we call them camcorder. So all these are uh, instruments or gadgets that you can use to take photos right, together. Now we need to concentrate on uh, the major areas that we need to think about when we are doing photography. And when you're doing photography, then remember there are some elements that we need. There are some elements that we need to consider when you're doing photography. So we say, Elements of photography. Elements of photography. These are just rules. These are just rules that we need. These are just rules that we need to observe when you are busy uh, recording that uh, video or taking that photo with your camera. Have you ever seen a photo? Somebody is just taking a photo from here to here. There's no head, isn't it? Huh? Your mother tells you, you are in the church, eh? and some people are dancing. Then your mother gives you a, a phone, then she tells you, go and record. Or in a wedding, and then you go there with your phone, then you tap, isn't it? Then you wait, then you come back. Then when your mother plays, there's nothing to play. Isn't it? And the wedding is done. You cannot go back there again. I ever had such, such, such situation? Eh? Or you take it and then while you are recording it, you are recording it upside down. Have you ever done that? Then you have now to change the, the to, to turn the, 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 the mobile phone upside down so that you can be able to see it properly, isn't it? Yeah, such things happen, huh? Or you, you, you have you, you can't even see who, who is this. Can I see? You can't even see because you are standing here and the graduation was happening in the dining hall very far away. Yeah, and you can't even see who was uh, doing it, isn't it? So, such to avoid such problems, then we need to consider the elements of photography. The elements of number one. Element number one is focus. Number one, we have focus. Number one, element number one, we have focus. Focus. And most of the cameras they have that purpose called focus. Element number two is viewpoints. Element number two is what we call viewpoint. Element number two, we have viewpoints. Hey. Background. Element number three, we have the background. Element number three, we have the background. Hey. Lighting. Lighting. Mm. We take a photo in a dark room. And then we wonder now, do this class reveal like a smart card? Huh? You take a photo in a very dark room until somebody can tell you scratch. You only see the teeth, eh? You can't see the eyes. Hey! Yeah? Framing! Framing! We have the framing. Uh huh. Hey. Center of interest. Center of interest. Center of interest. What else? Hey. Image quality. Image quality. 
You have some more? You have some more? Anybody else? Eh? Uh -huh. And last thing number eight, we have composition. So these are areas that you need to consider when you take that camera, when you take that uh, video camera, when you take that smartphone, before you focus on a, an item or an object to take a photo of, then you should be very carefully able to consider these elements before you take your photo. Before you take your photo. Now, example, I have one here. I have two photos here. Can you see my photos? I have photo A and photo B. What is wrong with photo A? What is wrong with photo A? Okay, which one is wrong? Photo B, photo B isn't it? Why? Ah, uh, lighting, really? Uh huh. Is blood, isn't it? Blood photo is the one that you cannot be able to see properly, isn't it? Correct. So we talk about focus. We talk about number one focus. We talk about focus. We talk about focus. Sometimes the mistake we do when we take a photo for it to have a poor focus is you take a photo while you are shaking. When your hand is shaking that photo will not have focus. You are supposed to stop, pause, hold, wait. Are you together? Then tap or press and wait until it takes the image. Then now you can move away the camera. But you just do like this and then you remove it. Then that photo will be not in good focus. So number one, focus. We say focus is when Focus on a photo. Focus on a photo is when the photo has sharp details. Sharp details. So you make sure that the details on the photo are clear. Focus helps to bring out clear images. It helps to bring out clear images. Wherever you find the image is very clear and bright, and we can be able to identify what that person was doing. Now, how do we delegate? To get clear focus, hold the camera steadily and avoid the movement. To get a clear focus, to get a clear focus, hold the camera steadily and avoid movements. And avoid movement. Thereby, you will be able to to uh, these people are right to see or oh, they can see you will be able to take your photo clearly whereby you wait and pause you don't move and even while you are taking the photo still remain still until you are done then now you can do it you can move then you'll have a clear focus. are we together yes. so what are you supposed to do in order to have a clear focus uh-huh and then Avoid any movement. Are you together? Are you together? Yes. Okay, then we go to image quality. Image quality. Number two. Image quality. Image quality. But this one, sometimes we are not able to change it. Okay. Sometimes we cannot be able to make it... Uh, Better reason you can tell me why you can tell me why why can you find that the photo has a poor image quality why why 
The type of camera. The type of camera. Some cameras have already poor lenses. Eh? That a small screen that takes the photo at the back there, this one here. Like right now, I can just make sure these people don't see me. I just hold it there. Now they'll not see me. This is the lens. The camera is not there. The camera is here. And on the camera, we have a lens, this one, that I can close. That is the lens. So if the lens, the lens is not good, then the photo will not be good. Some lenses are poor. Some lenses are very bright. Are you together? So the image quality, sometimes it might depend on the on the camera itself are you together the image may depend on the camera itself to make a picture with good quality yes who is this why okay so we say we get good image we get Good image quality through we get good image quality through a uh, proper focusing through proper focusing. So if you don't focus properly let's say you are taking a photo while moving then your image will be poor the quality of your image will be poor simply because you are not able to steady yourself stand still take a photo while standing and then move from there but if you are doing it while you are moving they will find that the photos that you take the image will be or maybe even the person that you're taking the photo is more so moving isn't it so you'll find that there will be no that good uh, clear photo the image will not be of good quality so that is how we are able to get a good uh, quality. Then we go to center of interest. 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 Now I want to take a photo of one man called Peter Allen. Where is Peter Allen? And then imagine I stand here and I'm taking Peter Allen. I wish you somebody will see him. No one will see him. The first man to be seen is Dimas, this man here. Then somebody will see Wanja, somebody will see Lijun. By the time they reach Lemayan, oh, the eyes are tired. So what do I do to get Mr. Peter Allen? Hey, you zoom it. You bring him closer, isn't it? If you want him to be seen, then you must bring him closer to the camera by either zooming or you move closer to that image. So what is center of interest is that focal point. What do you want us to see in that camera, in that photo? What do you want us to see? Are you together? You are taking a photo of somebody, then the person is this little, and then the trees are this big. So what did you take the photo for? The trees or the person? The trees, isn't it? Are you together? So you should make sure, and normally you make sure on the same, the, 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 the application also goes to the, what do you call this now? What do you call this thing? What do you call this thing? It's just one of the elements. Uh, eh? frame. The frame. Are you together? So make sure if you want the center of interest to be good, make sure the frame is good. You, you don't take a photo of somebody standing here. That's the way. Was he running away? Huh? Was this person running away? Huh? Or take a photo of somebody here. See the here. Huh? And then all this space is empty. So what did you want us to see? If you need the person, then make sure you capture the center of interest at the center of the frame. Are you together? So when I look at this photo, I can see this is what you want me to see. But you don't now put... You don't misuse the frame. So set of interest, this is the focal point. This is the focal point. Focal. The focal point of the photograph. Of the photo.
It is the image that is of interest. When I take that photo, what do I want to see? What do I want to see? What do I want to see? You take a photo of me at the beach. I'm on the boat. Then you take the whole ocean. And then I only appear like a paddle on the ocean. A very big ocean. And then you, you draw me here on a boat like this. And all this is water. Seriously? Are you serious? Are you taking a photo of me or the ocean? <laughs> so bring out the center of interest so that when somebody watches that or uh, sees that photo, they can be able to see. Those that are not important, put them far away. But those that are important, if you can, then you can zoom them closer to the viewer. Are you together? Are you together? So we say, make sure make sure the object of interest make sure the object of interest stands out. Make sure the object or the, the object of interest stands out among all. Just focus on it only and bring it out so that people can be able to see it properly and they be happy about it. Are we together? Yes. I love ferry. When you go to ferry, this side and this side, what do you see? At the ferry, this side and this side, what do you see? Eh? 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 Buildings. Eh? That man sees building. Eh? Eh? Ocean, eh? Uh -huh. Let me see people who go to ferry, water. Uh -huh. Eh? Eh? The size of the ferry. What? At the ferry itself, that crossing channel. This side of Ukunda and this side of Mombasa. There's something there. Eh? A bridge. Ah. Billboards. Very nice billboards on this side. I think the last time I saw this side, there was one for Maziwa. Milk, eh? Yes. Which, which, which milk? Who's or Brookside? This side. And then this side, there's Naivas. And then the other side, there's another one of a lady. She's uh, advertising what? Nice and lovely. And you can see, even at night, when the lights are on, you can see this lady, very beautiful. There she's saying, you buy nice and lovely. When you come this other side, you find another one. Somebody just at Kapu Twende. I don't know just how I don't know just what. With the neighbors, isn't it? Kapu yeah. Kibonge. And a very nice picture there. Big one. And the moment you just see that photo, you can see... Uh, Naivas logo there and just know Naivas is calling us to go and just a couple to end it, isn't it? Are you together? So your focus should be able to bring to us the center of interest. You don't look at the other nani. The other day I took some photos of you while you were making the puppets. And then I sent them to the WhatsApp wall. And then some people's mothers were saying, I can't see my child. Because I was not putting everybody. I was just putting the work that you were doing in there. Well, but not everybody, isn't it? As I said, I'm going to get This is Neta Mali. <laughs> when you're doing a group work, group work, you can take a few and the others will not be seen, isn't it? But if it's not one person after the other, then you take one and one person per moment. Are you together? And then now that it will be the center of interest. Are you together up to there? Yeah. Any question? Ah. But he had a lash blanket here. So make sure today you take a photo at home. A photo of your meal. The meal you will be eating. Supper today. You take a photo. And paste it on the WhatsApp. Oh. Then tomorrow we will look at all this. Who was correct? Kwanik, that is not good. <laughs> at home, we take a photo of what you are eating and paste it on our class wall. 
tomorrow morning, that is what we shall be discussing. Who had the better focus, who had a good quality of image, and who had a set of interest. So make sure you check. And a simple secret, cameras have settings, eh? Yeah, so make sure you set it properly. If you are zooming, zooming properly. And if it is a image, make sure the image quality is good. Focus properly, and also we should see. See to one side, you know, you know, come to Kula. Come and see, my daughter, when you see, my. So to be here, so to be here, picture see my naga, come and moki mo. Are you together? Ah, we shall continue from there. about last week basic human rights include right to life and i wonder how many of us can't forget that very important one right to a balanced diet right to a balanced diet right to clean water shelter clean and safe environment security on property clothing for proper health care, freedom of expression, and freedom of worship. These are some of the basic human rights entitled in the chapter number four of our Kenyan laws or of our constitution. Before I go so much, I want to appreciate scouts. 
especially our Embo commander, Queen, assisted by Farali, still much appreciated. And just some people can come, who can come scouts. Gary, you are too very young to quit scouting. Talash, you are Embo. Amalia. Maria and the rest, the rest, my friend, get uniforms, be your friend. Scouting never fails. Scouting never fails. Scouting, you would see a scout getting sickly anyhow. So I'm not with those folks. And the rest of life will join. I'm also up with you before you join. The importance of human rights. 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 Enlighten the people on basic needs. They enlighten number one. Right, enlighten people. Right, enlighten people. They give people life. They help people understand. Enlighten the people. The people on. The basic means they are. On the basic means they are entitled. They are entitled to. E.g., food is a basic need. Clothing is a basic need. And a shelter. Shelter. There are things you must have in life. You must eat for you to live. You must have clothing. You must have a place to sleep. The others come as a basic things. Like education, transport, seats. You don't have to have a seat. You can sit down. What I must have a bed. You can sleep on the floor. Those are basic needs. Number two, allows people to express their ideas and the feeling without fear. Allows people to express to express their feelings, their ideas. The ideas and the feelings without fear. Without fear. And now, right, you give you powers. If something bad you say it is bad, if something good you say it is good, without fearing, fear of pepper. Some people they like doing wrong things to entertain the others. Peter tells you, let's go to the toilet. And because it's a friend, you want to entertain me, uh, and you have no reason to go to the toilet. You are going. You should express your feelings. The last time to go to the toilet, Cassie. <laughs> and you don't have to go to the toilet. Tell the no. I, I have no work to the toilet. I have no business there. A man addressed to go to the toilet, Mbunge, to do what? Tell her we have no business to the toilet. It is time for class. That is where some of us are missing the mark. They want to make others happy, even when things are not going well. That is sometimes, for my case, I would make you happy. I'll make sure you do the right thing. You love me, you don't love. But because I know when you do the right thing, you'll always love me. 
If you are in the right line, you will also love the teachers who tell you the right thing. If you are in the wrong line, the teachers who tell you the right thing, you will love them. At the most times, the teachers love these that are that they are bad. But they are not bad. At the end of the day, those children love them at the end of the day. Together. Even at home, if your father is very strict, he does one nonsense. You find you don't love him, you go to the mat. If mother is very strict, you go to the park. True or false? Very true. Protect people from abuse by other people who are more powerful. Right? Protect people. Protect people from abuse. From abuse by by other people or or are more powerful. Like politicians are very powerful, and sometimes they plan. They plan to abuse other people's rights. Come to your home, take the land. That is abuse. So the rights protect us against that. Human rights protect us against that. Lastly, encourage people, encourage people, right, encourage people. Nobody's talking. Encourage people, organizations, organizations, and government and the government to protect. To protect the environment. Like last week, we had a meeting in Africa and Kenya about the climate summit. We had a meeting in Africa and Kenya about climate. How to ensure that the climate is good? We are not supposed to have too much hot climate. Problem with climate is caused by people cutting down a lot of trees, people using cars which are not in good conditions, factories emitting gases to the air, mining emitting gases to the air. Those are things which are make climate to be bad today. And that can reduce your lifespan also. Your lifespan will also be reduced. Some years back, Die at 120 years, 30, 40. People are dying very young. 30s, 20s, 40s. Diabetes. Together. What is calling these killings? Climate. Climate change. As a result of bad climate, we cannot no longer we can no longer eat traditional food. If I ask here, how people have taken traditional food last week? I don't know how many, how many are these. Which one did you eat? I know where. Who is that one? Yes. Okay. For me, yes. The vision of that is one for me, yes. Or Songa. That's the vision of that. If you ain't no Songa, it is chemicals. Now, if I ask chemicals, a lot of chemicals inside. How do you have food last week? All of you. Which one? Asap. Yeah? How many days? You don't worry. The one which you have made yourself. What the one you bought? When do you get it? The one you But it must be from that. That is not traditional. Traditional, you get a 
photo of the motto to put it yourself, you remove the the cover yourself. You win on using a either words. You make it. If, if it's more from um, electronic part, not traditional, I don't. Correct. This one. From the shop. Where? What do you do? What is to get here from the farm? You get a stone. From grinding. You get another stone. You grind yourself. Who did that? Come on. No, you don't know. Your mother does not grind the stone. It's better than that. Yes? Yeah? Yes? From where? Yeah? Where are we from? Well, some of the farms are also in areas where the water supply is going to sewer. Yes, bigger. From where? Now, what are we saying? We are saying that that challenge is because of food we do, most of the species. Where will the agricultural get at pyroid? Where will we get that disease from? And we don't do exercise. So I encourage them to run to the dining hall, run back to class, when you go to the Toilet, try to learn, run for exercise. The return when he, when he has games, and when you go to the field, don't sit down. Ensure you sweat. That sweating is good for your health. That sweating is good for your future. I gave some message in the morning to grade six. I'm taking it back to you. Let's go to page 166. We have a poem there about human rights. Let's read it. Let's read the poem there. Human rights. Human rights. They promote peace and harmony in society. No, no, no. That's not what we read. That is not how, that is not how we read. Let's read well. Human rights. Human rights.
I'll put four papers here. One round to pick the paper to show round is complete. Another round to pick the paper to show the round is and you pick four of them. You pick and return back here the paper. Bad manners. Get me a paper. Next, yes, right to play there. No, yes, that's not a right. Yes, right to security. We stop there. Number two. Which right? And right to fort. Right to fort enables you. Like right now, all the members who voted for a president, President Pluto. Even if things are, even if you buy Unga at 300 shillings, you cannot complain. You are the one who voted for him. Those who also not vote for him, they cannot complain. Because they end a chance to vote for him and they refuse. Together. So do you at home, mom, complaining? Hey, the Uka is too expensive. She pays so much in neighbors. What's going on with you? One thing of neighbor, neighbor. I don't know what she's going to do. Keep the paper there. Put it here. Go, you come for the other one. When she reached well, when he reached well, my woo was, she was smiling. I don't think he did one. So I had to buy for him. So I know you know my woo, the price of my woo. You must be knowing it. But the other areas, you could, you could not talk. When we were there, Zunga is not talking about the woo. Milik is not talking about the news. The young guy is not talking about the woo. But that the area I like most, he was there joining you. He said, I want this one. I tried to assume I don't, I'm not hearing. You don't me that deal this one so i have to go back from a from a wow now this one is a very important for us which rights allow citizens to vote is a voting right and i was saying you voted you did need to vote or you know you made a decision to get a, a government if you complain and they say my mp is not good why do you why can you why did you take part to, to vote the right one i remember former MP was a very nice person. The one who died, the one who was your neighbor. Dory, very nice one. We have the other one today, it's also a good one also. But when you compare with the first one, first one was more, more good in terms of the development. 
But you cannot say, I actually voted for one in that day. So I cannot complain. And they say, he's a good one. So, voting gives us a chance as Kenyans to bring the good leaders back to leadership and remove the bad leaders. So if we don't remove the bad leaders, we don't complain and say the government is bad. You are the government. Number three, name one right of children with special needs. Who are the right of, who are children with special needs first of all? Can I get to example children with special needs? Yes. These are children, we have leaflets. Children, these are children with special needs. Other children with special needs? Mentally, do you know who's people, you people? Have you ever seen them? Children depend on the sun. Paralyzed children. I can't hear what you're saying, Murume. Yes? Children? Somebody has said that already. So those are some of the children with a special need. What? What? Name one, one of their right to vote. Yeah. Those children have a right and you are not sweating. So we need four rounds. You should be sweating. You should come back sweating. Children, they need proper health care those children. Some parents, they close that children to the rooms. Just because parent does not want to be associated with a child who has no maybe legs, hands, who is cliffless. In other communities, when a child is born cliffless, that child is the baddest that one. And a two woman a wow. Other communities, they don't allow twins. If children are born twins, they assume that woman is cast. And I will know how to on a wow how twins. Some communities cliffless are not allowed. So, in such cases, these children are protected by rights, human rights. They have a right to live. Do they, do, they, do, they, do, they, do they require education for children? Yes. There are those children who are dumb, deaf, eh? deaf, they can't hear. But they, they, they can see so they can learn. The children who are deaf, they can't talk, but they can hear, they can learn. In many cases, if you cannot hear, you cannot talk. Because you talk what you have heard. Those children who do not talk, they don't hear also. You talk what you have heard, but they can learn, they can read, they do things. Come here, are you sweating? I'm sitting now. Who should provide security for the property of citizens? Hey, be with us, Alash. Who should provide property for citizens in Kenya? Yes, the government. The government who are Properties of citizens are protected. Young man sitting in front of here. There's a boy who likes playing there. Aslan. He's got us a new. Gala. Gala. Gana come in front of your chair and your book. And every, every time during my lesson, you should be seated here. Every time I come here for your lesson. Gana. Aslan. Every time you should be seated here. And you remember, make sure you remind me of Peter. When it's not there. Peter and the command. Now. Government should ensure that the security of property and also the people. Name two things that may make a person not be allowed to enjoy full human rights. One, yes, criminal. If you become a crime, you can't enjoy full rights. Like this man is talking there now. You cannot, you cannot enjoy the rights of sitting where you want there. You're in a class, you are behaving well. You can sit everywhere. You enjoy full right of sitting everywhere in class. You also can sit anywhere. Everybody can sit in front, back, at the center, the middle, everywhere. 
unless you are sick. You have problem with the eyes. That special case you can see in front. You have no problem with the eyes. All your problem. In the class, we are supposed to sit everywhere. The chair takes you to sit. But if, if you are if you sit behind your playing, you don't write. Our teachers are right to deny you that right of sitting here and they put you here. Um, what we have watched your face, eh? You see. So I'm gonna sit here. Just sit here. And you're going to be mad. You're going to be mad. You're going to be mad. This one. So we are saying criminal cases can make you not a day for right. Other people even who are sentenced, who are given a death sentence. Some sentences you are hung, you are killed. Today they don't kill people because of human rights. Government doesn't like to take your life also. What do they do? You are sentenced for life. Like when you kill a person. Unafunga maisha. Unatuwa kifunga ama? Ya maisha. You are sentenced for life. Unanyimwa. Right. You have talked angel with other people. Even your family. Unafunga kapisa? Ni maisha. Unakau kwa njena bako kwa kukwe uko. So, there are some criminal cases which can make you not to be allowed to enjoy full rights. Together, criminal cases. So it is bad to do crimes. Avoid criminal is possible. How do people learn? When do people end up starting doing criminal when they are grown up? When do they start? From school. Yes, you start at school level. Not writing notes, that is a crime also. Coming to school late is also a crime. There are members who come to school not because they can't come to school early. Right. You can wake your mom early and bring you here. The right time. But you don't do so. That is also a crime. Is it not true? Is it not true? It is. It is. You can tell your mom, mommy, I want to be at school. At six sharp. At six thirty sharp, and that can be possible. But yourself, you want to relax. We, we start our classes at seven. Others will tell the parents, "Mommy, they are even reading." I think there is no teacher even they are just reading. They are just reading stories. But let's go at eight. Are you somebody reading at seven? That that is a right. You know the right thing. I mean the wrong thing. You know the Bible says, "The one who, if you not do good and you don't do that good, that is a sin." That is a crime. You know, they lose the crime, but they are sick. And there are some members who are not okay. And there are many members who are not good members. So you are the one who is not okay. Mommy, we don't even read. Because mommy, the teacher, the teacher, the teacher, the teacher. And I've read the evening in my story. So let's, let's just go and say that. No, no, which parent also what you tell them they just take it. Now, we are very strict. We tell you, I want you as part seven. At six, but you want to be there at the school. And like I say, those members, the strict teachers are allowed. Strict parents, strict teachers are not very much allowed. The same case to apply to very strict parents. If your mom does not train you so much, you start going to the dad. If dad does not train you much, you start going to the, to the mom. Yes, true of us, Natasha. True. You just do tell me. If I tell mommy, it is time for a treat. Everyone is giving you money. Daddy is telling you, we don't have money sometimes. You want to make sure you become a friend to mom. But life is not all through all the time. Not all the time they'll be what you want. And you'll know that in the future. When you complete grade 12, When you go to, you are going to grade six, seven, six soon. You complete grade six, go grade seven, eight, nine. Then you go grade twelve to thirteen. After grade thirteen, you are supposed now to go to either university or college. You start knowing not a mask 
or what you want is not possible. Right now, if your mom tells you there's no money for sure, you may start crying and think it is not true. It might be very true. When your mom tells you they are not cooking chapat, you think it is not possible. Very possible. So it is good to be flexible. And we cannot learn that from social studies. Social studies talks about society. What is taking place in the society? You would not use in English or Israeli or science. Social you learn you what takes place at home. And things I tell you are the true things. You have ever one day told by your parent, this is not possible. There's no money for this. Ever true? Ever true? And if your person is everything is there, my friend, you are not in a good place. Everything is there for you. You may suffer in the future. You need to have some things. If there is something there, you are not there. So that you understand, you get that sense. What I want is there for me all the time. So everyone wants to become a president of pain. That's true. All of us don't become a president of pain. That's true. No. That is true. Look at you. But we cannot become president all of us. Even here, all the scouts, if they want, if they ask, they all want to become commander. But they don't become commander all of them. We must have one to command them. And others to hold the command. Together. Okay. What is not possible with some things? Well, they know the fact. They can come at a different time. That is social. That is not, this not a learning model. Yeah, it's not time to meet right now. It's not like in time right now. I don't see somebody eating you my lesson. We have only one time in time between 12 to 2. I like say to one side, that's information. The other thing is not for eating even water. What is part of food? If you take water, you're eating. Are you aware of that? You should be aware from today. What is part of food? In balanced diet, one among the three components is water. So I don't say somebody take water. Do you take water in the toilet? Why are you taking water in class? If you go to the toilet, you are doing business there. I do you stop you take water. Hey, all this is not working. <laughs> Cairo, you are in toilet, water is there. <laughs> it is not working out. Even in class, you cannot work out. You are very busy listening and you take more. That can't work out. What are you trying to say? It is very important to know the same place in society. Currently, there are a lot of criminal places that are taking place. You need to take care of yourself. I think one of my friends, one of my parents in the class ate on Friday, on Saturday. On Thursdays, we are going home. He was telling me of his friend with the two children. I think our children is learning from St. Joseph. Over they were attacked. Just at the moment here. It was on Thursday, Wednesday last week. Yes, I took them. We took them to, they stay, they reside next to Mukindeni. Then they reached Mukindeni, they took God Apaja. Then the mother said, let us, our home is just near, let us walk. On their way home, they were attacked by robbers. They were, the man was, the phone was snatched. The vegetable they were carrying to go and the cook, they were snatched. The woman is a shopkeeper. And all the money were picked. Four months from the same sales of carrying over. And the night was here for the woman. Children were crying. Man, don't you kill mommy, mommy. She gave everything they gave. Then she went back. They had to call the father. I and my children have been sick. How come we have been there? The way we have been there. Take care of yourself. Which members would like to do this? You can even be stolen. You are giving up and your body is gone. Give us one million and give you your daughter back. Give us one million and give you your daughter back. Take care of yourself. Security of yourself. You know before that means. Who is who has the right to do that? Who, who, who is the key person to provide the good view? Because that way you can provide the good you provide the good for yourself. I think the best way to say is I'm the one who provides the good, not the government. You are the government. Like in our class, Nicholas, in your class, you are seeing somebody writing like this one. 
My friend, you are the government. Pretend you are the government. Who is government? You. At home, you just look at people stealing your neighbor's home. You don't report. You can tell your mother, you can tell your father, baby, I saw some people stealing there. Call the police station. They be arrested. Also, maybe somebody you know. You report. You keep quiet because they come to the home. You keep quiet, next they make it an you and they call to the father for money. So you should not expect, you should not, you should not waste time. When you see wrong things going on, you must report that wrong news. Is that it, everybody? You are home, you are your main guard. That some people have house guards and house boards. When you go home, it's abusing your rights. Report. Report. That's very funny. When mother is not there, you become the home dandy. But respect the means. You must be respected. They are just children like me. Maids are not dandies. They are just somebody's child like you. It just maybe one by one little person does not get the privilege later to land and get a better job. All those things are very important. Respect them. I think we ended a case last year. We remember a case from Grolia? She was told by her maid, run away from the bathroom, the house is burning. What did she say? I don't have to know. I don't have to know. I mean, that, that's lack of respect. If you are not, your house is, is on the fire, you don't get out. If you are missing what you use, you just run very fast. Come out, you begin a, a less outside. But they don't have clothes and the mice coming on. I thought that was bad in the house. Last year. I think it's a very bad one to tell, but it has a running point. For me, I said that it's a running point. These children are rude to their meat. Because if this child was a very distant child, if it was not by me, come out! The house is on fire. I can get a little bit of water. And as ever see, what are you hiding? Fire and your body with water. Your body. Keep it up. Keep it up. You stop that for now. Have a nice. We meet at the kitchen the right time. I'm 
Hello, how are Thank you.
both of you. And swing.
Enjoy the green grams. Good. Can you can you all sit? Those who are having full of us, please. Those who are having full of us. So, last uh, Thursday, that's when we always have our last lesson. We do have four. English lessons, Mondays, Tuesdays through to Thursday. Friday, we don't have an English lesson. So, uh, last time we read a short passage about a certain child. What was the name of the child? The child, Tre uh, not Trevor, Munke. What are you doing? What was the name of the child? What was the name of the child, Tony? Tony? What was the name of that child? Muka. Muka was suffering from what kind of a disease? Pneumonia. What causes pneumonia? Ah. Yes. Uh, taking cold drinks, staying in the cold weather. Uh, maybe there are those who stay at the beach. They always go to the beach, and you always have that uh, strong waves. Uh, you are there without a dress, without a shirt. 
and uh, after some time, you will discover that uh, you are suffering from uh, uh, pneumonia. We also went further and discussed some vocabulary words, like, who can remember them? Yes. Thermometer. Laboratory. Temperature. Oh. An overdose. What is an overdose? Tell us. I talked about that. What is an overdose? Ah, you forgot, you Amalia. Taking too much medicine that is not prescribed by the doctor. Yeah. By the doctor. Then we also have those who underdose, isn't it? When they are told to take two tablets, they take a half. That is an under. So we said you're supposed to take a medicine that is fully prescribed by the doctor. Don't just go to a pharmacy and uh, uh, buy the drugs from the counter. For us, that was the, the chemist or the person selling drugs to give them to you without uh, the doctor's prescription. Then we also went further, did the activity four. How many are there? Yes, I asked you to do activity four. Page 130. Are we there? Huh? So we were asked to group the diseases according to the mode of spread. As we said, cholera is spread by food and, and water. Typhoid, food and? Water. Juguna, this is uh, Leon Rituga. No, this is George Juguna. Mind what we are doing in class, okay? Okay. Uh, we also talked about influenza, and we said another name for influenza is common. Cold, isn't it? We also had Chiba. The uh, mode of spread is through air. Malaria also, then we had tetanus, right? Now, I want us to go to something else. And uh, today we are in intensive reading. So I want us to read about the cholera outbreak, page 131. So intensive reading. So here we have the cholera outbreak. So write this in your book, the title of the passage, the cholera outbreak. Then we have the new ones here. Are you done? Write this as the title of the person. Gift. Are we there? The gift is still looking at others. Now, from the title of the person below. From the title of the passage below, what do you think is the passage about? From what I've written on the whiteboard, Robert, what do you think is this passage about? She is thinking, and already the answer is on the chalk on the whiteboard. Yes, the uh, newcomer. We are talking about this disease, and it is one of the communicable disease diseases that is spread through contaminated water, isn't it? Yes. And food. That's what we say. So when the food is contaminated, that is when it has uh, germs, then like the likelihood of you, of you catching cholera are very, very high, okay? Now, what can you see on that picture? In page 131, what can you see, Trevor? Hey, those who are writing, can you concentrate? Yes, there is a lady or maybe a girl trying to vomit. I mean, she is vomiting. Or we say, another, there's another word I, 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 I taught you. Yes. Puking. Or throwing? Throwing up. Good. So when, when we say somebody is throwing up, it means she or he is what? Vomiting. Vomiting. Okay? Yes. Now, we also have another 
person seated uh, next to the window of a hut. We also have a mother holding a baby, right? Yes. Are we all there? Yes. Hassan. Hassan. Larry, what else can you see on that picture? Yes? Larry, you see, they were not in class. They were doing something else. They don't even know where we are. Yes, Larry? Just give a description of the picture. Use your eyes. Mm. Anthony? Huh? What are you saying? What are you saying? I think that there are some please here, which is true. I can also see uh, a boy uh, lying, or probably uh, about to lie on the mat, and the mother is taking care of the boy. Probably that one could be uh, a community resource center. Or maybe, uh, but I don't think it's a hospital because hospital always has a sign of the cross, isn't it? So uh, these are villagers who are suffering from a communicable diseases, which is which is an waterborne disease. So we are going to read. So let us fix our eyes. I'm going to read the first paragraph. Then. This group will read the second paragraph, third paragraph, fourth paragraph. Then I will sum up the fifth paragraph. So <coughs> title of the passage is Cholera Outbreak. Everybody? Cholera Outbreak. Once again. Cholera Outbreak. Ugoma village was known for producing the best rice. The villagers lived in unity. They were very hardworking. They would work on their farms all day long. This group. During one crazy season, people in the village, including children, started getting sick. The villagers were as helpless as a baby. The hospital was a long distance away. Duma, the local medicine man, had noted on different diseases, but this one he had never seen that symptom before. Most of the sick people had diarrhea and were vomiting. Next group. Thank <laughs> you. 
that place again? <laughs> the sick were brought to the clinic by their relatives. After conducting tests on the sick people, the doctors concluded that there was a cholera outbreak. Further tests showed that the outbreak had been caused by drinking contaminated water from Gera River. From Gera? <laughs> After treating all the sick villagers, the doctors held a meeting with all the villagers to educate them about cholera. They advised the villagers to boil and treat their drinking water. Everybody, the villagers? The villagers? people are seen suffering from. Now, we do have signs and symptoms. Signs and symptoms. symptoms. So, a disease is uh, discovered by the signs and the symptoms. symptoms. So, the doctors went back to the village with the, with the Juma and they conduct, what did they conduct? They conduct a test, isn't it? And when they conducted the test, they found out that the villagers were suffering from a chronic disease known as a cholera. I mean cholera, isn't it? So the doctors taught the villagers on the measures that they were supposed to take. And they also educated on proper sanitation. On proper? As they were told that cleanliness is next to godly? Yes. Godliness. Therefore, it means these villagers were not disposing their waste well, isn't it? They were not boiling, uh, drinking water. They were just drinking water from which river? Gera River. Gera River. And the water from Gera River was not clean. It was contaminated. What is the meaning of contaminated? Anna, I talked about that. When we say the water is contaminated, what do I mean? Yes. It has germs, and germs are known to cause disease. Diseases. diseases. So, if we don't want to catch the disease or get infected, then we should follow whatever good advice we are told by the uh, clinicians or the doctors that uh, know about the disease. So, after a week, the number of people getting sick reduced. Why do you think it reduced? That boy. Ah, yes, Leon. Why do you think the sickness reduced after a week? Is there in the first, in the last paragraph? Why do you think the sickness reduced? Yes. Well, huh? no, I'm talking about after a week. We are told the number of people getting sick reduced. And completely stopped after a month. Why do you think it, it uh, reduced? Yes. Edema? Yes. The people of Ugoma village adhered and followed the doctor's advice. So they took care of their health. They boiled water and they ensured that what is supposed to be disposed was supposed to be disposed care. 
careful, isn't it? So the villagers plant. What did they plant to do after the disease was eradicated? Yes. Mm. They plan to sink. We talk of sinking, isn't it? Or digging a borehole in future so as to prevent such diseases. I also have some words that I've noted uh, on the whiteboard. Which ones are they? The first one? Helpless. Favor is not even observable. The first one? Helpless. Then the second one? The third one? The fourth one? Next? Shrivel skin. Shrivel skin. Shrivel skin. Salvage. Salvage. This one. Then. And the last is. The last one is epidemic. Now, let me just briefly explain these words. Now, when you are not able to help yourself. Let's say, for example, as you are walking along this road, going to the JSS, Kelly, then behind the dining hall, you meet a lion. You come face to face with a lion. You have nowhere to run. You cannot run backwards. You cannot run in front. The lion is just ahead of you. So we say you stand there helpless. You cannot help yourself. And there's no one who will help you. So we say you are helpless. When a person comes, then we say the person has been helpful. It has been help? Yes, yes he has assisted you. But when we say when, when you are helpless, it means you are not able to take care of yourself. Okay? When somebody happens to remove all, to cut all your arms, how will you eat? You are not able to eat, is it? So we say you become what? Who is a medicine man? These are local people in the village who have been trained by their fathers, by their ancestors on the local medicine. These local medicine that they use are known as they are known as herbs. They are known as they use herbs. So a doctor in the hospital uses medicine that has been tested, isn't it? Medicine that has been that has been tested. But in our villages, we have those those uh, medicine men that uses what they use what herbs to treat uh, diseases at home. They are known as medicine men. Okay. Then puzzled. When we say you are puzzled, it means you are surprised. I'm puzzled with the way people behave in this class. I'm surprised. I'm amazed. I'm shocked. To get puzzled is to get surprised. Yes, I'm puzzled. So I'm shocked. People are shocked by this disease. They don't know the name, but people are diarrhea. People are having shriveled skin, irritating skin. You are just scratching your body. People are vomiting. Those who are signs are symptoms, isn't it? So people are puzzled. Symptoms we are saying they are those uh, what a disease is known. The signs, the symptoms, all those. Yes, yes, yes. So symptoms for malaria are not the same as symptoms of COVID. So those are how a disease is scrutinized, how a, di a disease is discovered. Normally when you go to the hospital, they go, they ask you to bring blood samples, stool, or even urine, and they are tested, isn't it? Yeah. Because of, of, of irritability is an act of scratching your skin. When your skin is uncomfortable, Kelly, when your skin is not normal, we say it is uncomfortable in a wash of so We say it is irritable. Shriveled skin is the one that is peeling. You are scratching yourself and removing the skin, isn't it? Yes, until probably there could be some small, small wound 
uh, we're breaking some boils and all that. Salvage is to get. Let's say, for example, uh, let's say, for example, you have been sent to the market, okay, to buy uh, some tomatoes. Then, accidentally, the tomatoes drop or they fall. Some break. Oh, let me give a very good example with eggs. So you are running and you fall. Then the eggs also fall, isn't it? So the eggs that are broken cannot be salvaged. Salvaged. The ones that are, I mean, the eggs that are broken, you cannot salvage them. But the ones that are broken, you will collect them and put them safely again. We say you are salvaged. Salve. Yes, it's to getting the remains of what you had or whatever you, uh, you have been using. We have those who went to the show. How many went to the show? Yes. After the show, probably, you bought some uh, crackers or some uh, crepes, isn't it? Yes. So probably when you bought them and put them in your bag, somebody came and picked them. So you didn't know. So whatever you left, whatever you got, after those ones have been stolen or taken, you say you are salvaging the remains. That is getting what remains after uh, the best or uh, others have been taken. Then set out is to begin a journey. When you begin a journey, let's say for, on Saturday, you set out at 7 o'clock, going to the, or attending the show, uh, the ASK show in Momba. So set out is to begin. Begin a journey headed somewhere. Proper sanitation. Sanitation is an act of keeping clean. Keeping? Clean. Keeping things in a healthy way. We say you are practicing good sanitation. Good sanitation? Yes. Then lastly, uh, we talk of epidemic. Yes. An epidemic, yes? What is it? A large number of cases of people or animals suffering from the same disease at the same time. Yes. A large number of people, animals, suffering from the same disease at a given time. For example, we had COVID-19. When it came, it became an epidemic. Yes, so many people are suffering from it at the same time. So it becomes an epidemic, okay? No, once a disease comes, it is... Listen to me. So we have epidemic, we have pandemic, and we have endemic. We have what? Hey, why is this girl walking in class? Now listen to me. When a disease spreads, driver, not driver. We are living in what is called a global village. The world is called a global. The disease started in in China, isn't it? So by the time the disease had an outbreak, it was referred to as epidemic. 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 The outbreak of a disease is known as epidemic. Epidemic. Now when the disease now spreads to so many people and it becomes stubborn and it takes a lot of time and a long of a long time spreading it is within us we now refer to it as a pandemic it is with us now people are getting treated some are getting infected it becomes what pandemic. it becomes what pandemic. a pandemic isn't it yes. now when the disease now become endemic means it has stayed for long for example AIDS became an it became what Epidemic. Then eventually, a, pandemic. a disaster pandemic. Then now it becomes what? Epidemic. So this one, now people are used to it. It is now there. Like now, the COVID has now stopped from being what? Huh? Pandemic. It is now what? Pandemic. pandemic. It is now what? Pandemic. I've explained to you now. Have you got the, the differences? Yes. So when the disease comes, when there's an outbreak, first of all, it's referred to as what? Epidemic. 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 Then 
it continues now staying with people. People are treated, others get infected, and so on. Now becomes what? But once now the disease is there, people know that it is there like HIV. It becomes what? Yes, you can use your dictionary also to find out about that. Okay? So that's why I was explaining to uh, Ned, uh, Ned because he has been hearing those words. Okay? Yes, you can use your dictionary. So that is how you categorize a disease. So in here, in, at the onset, a disease has an outbreak. People are getting key. People die. So many people die at the same time. So it becomes what? An outbreak of a disease in an area. It becomes what? Now, I have said the world that we live is, is referred to as a global village. Anything that happens in the world, just by the touch of the, your smartphone, you know what is happening in the world, isn't it? So we are living in just one small world. That's why when there was an outbreak of COVID in, in China, everybody knew about that, isn't it? But it kept on spreading very, very far. People were using plane coming to Kenya. The borders were closed. And I, am I now clear? So it now became the world problem. Everybody was now scared. So it was now what? It was now with us. When you are sick, you transfer it to the hospital, isn't it? When you are treated, another one is taken there. So that this has now become star? Stubborn. People are treated, others heal, others die, and so on, okay? Their disease stays for so many years within a place. Or it is treated like uh, there's a, this is, who has ever heard of a small, smallpox? Smallpox. The disease really affects so many people, but again, it was treated until it went. Now it became what? Smallpox, chicken pox, and all that. Okay? Now I want us to open our books. Write these vocabulary words in your book. You've written them? So we now have the next thing. First eight questions. So write that. First eight questions. First eight questions. So we have question one, two, three, four, and five. So, no, no, sorry, one, two, three, and four. So five, don't do it in your own words, summarize the passage above. Yeah, uh, you can also do that. That one is just, I want you to uh, tell about what you have read. So one, two, three, and four. Okay? Then tomorrow we are going to learn about what? About adverbs. We have learned about adjectives. We have learned about conjunctions. We have learned about nouns. We have learned about verbs. We have learned about punctuation marks. And uh, we have learned about uh, the changing of the verb. That is tense, isn't it? The future tense was the last tense that we discussed. So tomorrow we'll start learning about adverbs. What are they? How are they used? What is common about most of the adverbs? How is, how is an adverb different from an adjective? How is it different from a noun? How is it different from a verb? We are going to see that tomorrow, okay? Good, so you can continue with the exercise. Mr. Timothy. Uh, uh, there are some students here I've never seen their books. That's what we read now. So you have about uh, oh, five minutes. But before you go home, before you go home, I need the work. Peter, this lesson. Good. Peter, you haven't brought, you don't bring your book. In fact, the way they sit there is only Larry who tries. Peter, Hassan, uh, we have between Leon and uh, George, there's one that does not bring the book for marking. Or he brings the book alternatively. Then we also have uh, Ali. He only brings the books when he wants. We also have uh, 
Caleb. Caleb does not know even how to use an exercise book. So the teacher has given us this lesson, isn't it? So we can do the work. Then we collect the books. We begin by writing the date, then the title of the passage. Then after finishing the questions, what should come now here are adverbs. That is what we shall start discussing tomorrow. Right here. Right. Always underline your work, Ida, using a ruler. Where is the... Uh, uh, this is what I should want to see. Somebody call my child. Who is this? I gave it to me. Make sure your handwriting is presentable. What is absent today? The work is already. Where is what is the woman? Underline this passage questions. Raise your hand. So, the last part is that one class. One class. For the drama. All of this. Have a speech. Eight books. See you. Whose book?